let's get up these people talking about Cardi B didn't deserve an award, whatever the case may be. I think that's crazy. Uh, she may not have been in the industry long enough, but uh, you can't take these people criticism that say they part of the culture of the music industry. A lot of these people, they they don't really have a, 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 a ear for music and they really don't know music like they say they do. They might just be involved or grew up around a situation or feel that's a gateway for them to get out or get money in the game is to go through the music. But everybody a critic in music. But the thing about that is everybody criticizes Cardi B, but these are the same people that voted 6 9 on the charts. You feel what I'm saying? So if you if you you turn around and was like, oh, 6 9 is an artist, he making good music, and people were telling you the stuff he was talking about, he's not really that type of person. It's a facade, it's a fad. And these people use that gimmick to make money off this dude. And then you see what happened when he caught the Fed case. They left him to drop. These same people are the same people that are saying that Cardi B don't deserve an award. I mean, you put the work in, you reap the benefit from it. It's bottom line. No disrespect to Nicki and nobody else and no other artist. She's just on everything. She with Bruno Mars. You name, she's on everything. She's working hard. And for Ice Cube them to come out and say she's no role model for women and things of that nature. Well, you wasn't a role model for the young homies we was coming up. But we still followed you. We still supported you. You feel what I'm saying? You you came from uh, gang banging and all that. You probably wasn't involved with any sets like that per se, but you still portrayed that image. Even though we, I, I picked up early when you was trying to kick knowledge after NWA, but you had your start coming from the street just like she having hers. It's not about a down south, west coast, or east coast thing. It's about people actually being open-minded to the real things. People spend more time being open-minded to... Things of like the gay community and, and, and things of that nature. When we should be more open-minded to more things that are more deeply rooted within our culture. We're accepting a whole lot of things in this hip-hop culture that wasn't there in the beginning. And, you know, and hate is one of them. It was no hate in the beginning when it started out. You feel what I'm saying? You, you got people that, that, that say New York biting this, New York biting that. Well, technically, if, if we go on that route, if it wasn't for New York... It wouldn't have been no legacy of hip-hop. So you feed on that one for a while and think about that one. I'm not debating. I'm just straight spitting facts. So at the end of the day, everybody had their opinion about hip-hop. But when you have your opinion, be realistic. You feel what I'm saying? Be realistic about the thing. Don't, don't, don't just say it because you hating. Because, you know, people use the word hating for anything nowadays. That's how a lot of people getting over with the suckerism, the busterism. When you comment and, and and you say something that's dealing with reality, that has some type of validity behind it, they turn around and throw this in your face. You a hater. You a hater. Ain't about being a hater. It's about keeping it real. And nowadays, people need that. So so people don't even want to call the haters so they keep their opinion to themselves or actual fact to themselves. And we just letting the fake stuff just roam and spill in the streets. So shout out to Cardi B. Congratulations to the homie. Whoop de whoop. Uh, to whoever don't like it, you know it is what it is. You know? Life goes on. They just got to work harder, get recognized more at the end of the day. It's the drama triangle. Leave your comments. Like. I mean, I'm taking all types of heat, whether it's hate, good comments, bad comments. This is the drama triangle. I want you to keep it real. Say what's on your mind. Let's get this thing going. Y'all take it easy. I'm going to take y'all out with a Cardi B video. I do not own the copyrights of this stuff. It's just promotion. I'm just looking out for the next person that's trying to come up. So any artists you catch me promoting their videos is all love to the ones on the come up and those are already in the game. So shout out to Red Wall Street, Stackhouse DVD.